So one of the things I often get to support are smart boards, which are basically interactive whiteboards in the UK and globally. Um, twice now I've seen it where the, at least for this one, which is for the Smart Light Rays 60WI, where the pen goes wrong and it's acting like either the battery's gone wrong uh, or in this case is acting like that but also I noticed when I was hitting it or clonking it the battery would come back on uh, or go off uh, at some point when I plugged it into charge the the light there was flashing orange which is unusual um, just generally it's being very weird so I wanted to open it up and actually see what's inside it um, rather than send it back because I had some spares so just moved to using one of the spares. Sadly the first thing is they um, they seem to glue the end on so I've already managed to basically destroy or uh, crack the, the casing at the end where um, where it's glued in but if I re-extract it so you've got the USB charging port and the uh, on off switch tiny on off switch and then as far as I worked out earlier this side comes off or um, you know it splits down the middle I'm interested to see what battery's in it whether it's got a loose connection or you know what's going on really so let's get another tool so I don't lose that left hand side that's currently on the screen trouble is I'm not really sure what happens down this end if they've if they glue the top then I guess it's quite possible that they also glue the uh, the bottom end and I'll end up smashing this but um, let's see what I can see so immediately I can actually already see one of the cells down down the gap that I've made I particularly want to jam my tool all the way through there and, and make any already bad connections worse because that will reduce the, the point of doing this but it looks like I'm going to have to uh, end up smashing this which is a bit of a shame I'd rather not um, but if you're interested the way it works basically when you uh, when pressure is put on that there's an LED or an infrared LED inside here which lights up and uh, this diffuses the light. As far as I can work out there's a, a bit like the, the Wii Mote works there's a camera in the projector which looks at, uh, for that diffused infrared light and can tell where you're pressing on the screen. It's quite clever um, and very accurate, doesn't drift unlike um, the older boards which had like um, was it either resistive Mm, must have been resistive, maybe? I can never remember the, the difference between resistive and capacitive um, kind of layer on them and they always drifted um, at any opportunity, which is very frustrating No, here goes, that's uh, just brute force Yep, there we go and yeah definitely that's glued in at the bottom as well so uh, there's no chance of me getting that out without doing what I've just done right I think which way is that there's, well there's the cell it's a uh, 3.7 volt 1.30 watt hour watt hour I think that is lithium ion battery So I can pry the rest of this out and uh Oh I've actually broken some plastic in there, so that's not going to go back together, is it? Yeah, I'll split the collar on the that bit there. Oh well. 
be very interesting to see what's in these. Let's get rid of this bit of plastic if I can. Oh well, let's see. Yes, so oh whoop. Let's try and retrieve whatever's just fallen off there. Okay, it's even got a smart branded circuit board. So uh, that's one half of the uh the pen. The next half with a load of circuits and the battery in it and a multi-pin connector at the end here which then connected onto this little sandwich circle board which has two LEDs, surface mount type LEDs on um, and in fact two, two extra smaller ones hmm. interesting, I wonder what uh, maybe I'm wrong about those ones being LEDs the, the bigger ones but these black ones also look very much like some kind of LED uh, on the other side it's got this multi-pin connector which connects onto onto that and then that went into this end cap here which had the the button which detects whether you're uh, pressing down upon it I feel like I may be missing a bit of the mechanism for it to tell whether you're pressing down on that I don't feel like um, that's actually particularly um, it, it, you know, th this bit of plastic on its own pushing down into whatever bit of rubber that is it doesn't feel to me like that's actually uh, all of it, so maybe I've dropped another component, but never mind. Um, so the thing I needed to look at, or wanted to look at, is if, is there any uh, bad connection in here? Mm, the bat <laughs> yeah, I can see that there already. I presume there is a tiny black lead. Let's see if I can get closer to the camera. Yeah, that's awful focus, and this uh, camera doesn't have any kind of focus option so uh, you're going to have to just put up with fuzziness but there is a tiny black lead attached to a circuit board with three terminals on the battery so there's three terminals this side and then it looks like there's two terminals here possibly going off to the yeah I think this one yeah one goes up to one end of the battery that terminal there goes must go on to the, the, the other end of the battery. Um, so what are they labelled? If they are labelled anything... Yeah, the one on the this side here is labelled plus. Ah, funnily enough, that's also uh, just detached itself, so uh, I don't feel like I'm being unduly uh, vigorous with this while moving it around, and uh, both have just broken, so I guess just pretty awful um, soldering job or really really thin wire um, but yeah it wouldn't surprise me with the way this battery is in there how how often the pen gets moved around probably dropped and everything I wouldn't be surprised if this is broken anyway um, of its own accord or um, certainly I think given the way that when I was tapping it it was seemed to be behaving itself and then going wrong again and behaving itself it's probably basically an intermittent connection in there. Let's see if I can retrieve the rest of this circuit board and this charging port. Ooh, the charging port's actually screwed down. Oop, that screwdriver is too large. There we go, there is the entire thing. <laughs> so we've got the USB port and the switch with four wires leading down to 
and the main circuit board. One labelled USB minus, the other one labelled I think USB plus, the yellow and green Uh, one I think I've is labelled SWI, possibly switch, which I can't see. <coughs> Pardon me. And then the other one is also labelled switch as well. So we've got switch, switch, USB plus, sorry, USB minus, USB plus. Then in the middle here, I think this black lead used to go to this one here, which I think is called, I think ground, possibly. Uh, this white one is labelled RT as far as I can tell and the red one is labelled CS which possibly char... no hmm, don't know what that might stand for hmm. and then the rest of it I have no idea what it does, how it works why it might all exist there's the LED that shows the status And several points down here which don't look like they're actually connected to anything or well, maybe engineering points or um, possibly for programming the chip maybe but it's interesting the circuit board's labelled or silk screened I guess is that um, got smart on it and then yes the other one multi-pin connector and then I wouldn't even begin to know what the rest of this stuff does uh, these two are soldered together in some kind of weird sandwich so I can't separate those, they are soldered together. The components are labelled as far as I can see D1, D2, D3 and D4. There's a tiny chip on the that side, the other side as well. I wonder how it knows when it's uh, when it's being pressed against the board. Because to me, that doesn't feel the same as it did when the pen was fully functional. Let's have a quick look on the ground and see whether I've lost any other parts. None that I can see where the other circuit board landed. So unusual. Let's try putting it back together. So that lived in there. Let's put this back on the end of the circuit board. Hmm, possibly. I feel like I've uh, potentially lost a spring out of that, but I don't see it anywhere on the desk, I didn't see it fall, so no idea what went on there, but pretty confident that had gone wrong because of a loose connection and um, if it wasn't for it all being glued together so in my attempts to break it open I've managed to crack the plastic there and crack the the end cap there um, potentially could repair it but also considering when you buy one of these uh, projectors luckily they come with two of these pens anyway, so um, where they were deployed they didn't give the end user all of the pens because they would probably go walkies, get lost or whatever, um, so actually there's quite a stash of spare ones which is very convenient for me because it means I don't have to wait for this to come back under warranty, plus um, for this one which is out of warranty gives me the opportunity to open it up and yet there's still a spare one for the end user to to have and continue to use. Anyway, vaguely interesting. I wanted to do that because I wondered what was in them and now I know. And uh In what might be described as bonus footage, I decided to, first off, put a slightly different camera above my desk so I could actually focus it and you could possibly see slightly more of this circuit board so let's see if I can get it to 
Focus, aha, much better. Brilliant. Right, so we've got, as I was saying, this smart branded little kind of circular sandwiched board with, as far as I can tell, I'm still not sure what the smaller black ones are for, but I'll demonstrate in a minute the um, the other ones, the larger white ones there. Um, I have resoldered on <laughs> the battery without the, uh, I've only added the, the plus and the minus. I'm sure, I presume the other one is for current sensing, um, possibly what the CS on the circuit board means, current sensing maybe. Um, although you'd be able to do that just from the plus and minus, so actually quite unsure why. Um, and it now turns on. If I turn it on without this little circuit board on it, the light goes red. And if I plug the circuit board in, and then turn it on. The light goes green. So, that's now ready to use. And as I was saying earlier, um, when you press down on the board with this thing in its uh, holder, you can see... Uh, actually, so when it's in the, the pen itself, you can't see anything visible. Um, but looking at it with the naked eye right now, I can see a uh, very faint red tint in where the LE, well, the, these two white LEDs are. I'm unsure what these other ones are for. Um, somebody may have done stuff and uh, worked it out, but if you do know, leave a, a message in the, the comments and I will see, uh, well, no, be interested to know. But yeah, if you press it on the board, that lights up. The projector has a camera in it which can then tell where the pen is and that you've pressed it against the board and want to um, want to perform a click, basically. It's interesting, I push that on the edge with the other end of that, it doesn't work. I have to push it very much. I don't know. Oh, it's broken. Yeah. Oh. Ah, oh, okay. So the intermittent well, intermittency seems to have come back even with the resoldered on um, battery. Yeah, okay, pressing it with either end is absolutely fine. Yeah, interesting device that. 